Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to Ray and Jake Vlogs. I hope you guys are enjoying your day as we are. Right, babe? Yeah. Um, well, today we have another food box on episode two. Um, we only have one food box. As the fans requested, we want it, we, they wanted two. But there's only one for today because the other one didn't come in. And um, it just it didn't come in the mail and we're not able to get it today. So... Um, now we're doing this one, which is uh, from... So this is a different one than last time. This is called Universal Young's. Last time we tried a snack crate and this one is a little bit, um, the box is a little bit bigger and it does have a lot of more stuff in it than the snack crate. Now is it like snack crate where it comes from different countries? Yes, it's the exact same as snack crate. Okay. So it's a mystery box basically from a different country all around the world. All right. And um, like the last one, no indications. It just has a bunch of snacks, which I really like the box. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was our dog our dogs. Anyways, let's get the video started. <laughs> guys and um, we're back in the video so as you said we're doing Universal Yums and we're gonna find out where we're where it's from and today it's from Taiwan hmm Taiwanese food never thought and it looks like there's a, a game in here that you would have to play somehow I don't know exactly how but there's a game. And then I found this little book. I was gonna see what that is, because it looked a little weird. It does say it's a Taiwan's favorite childhood game. Hmm. It's saying basically it's like hacky sack. But instead of a ball, you kick that. Interesting. Interesting. Well, shall we get started on the snacks? Okay, let's move this. Uh, let's move this over here. All right. So uh, you want to pick? Seeing how I picked first last time. Yeah, pick. And this book does uh, tell you everything about the snacks that are in here. Now I have a question: Is that only for Universal Yums, or the book? Yeah. Yes. The book is only for the Universal Yums. The snack cake did not come with one of these. I think they went paperless, so if you wanted to know the snacks, you would have to go to the website and figure it out. But mm. Universal Yums gives you a little booklet. In the book, there is, uh, like you can find out about it. It does have a, a quiz for you to figure out. And it and, just tells you about the snacks, okay? And it does give you a recipe that's very popular in Taiwan. Okay. So we are going to do, you can pick out the snack, um, and so we are going to do something a little bit different this time than last time. We are going to actually just rate them and try and just, uh, we're going to try and keep the description a little bit short um, so the video is not as long for you guys. So, what is the snack? So it looks like potato fries, cheese flavored. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> You know what that tastes like? Hmm. Um, that Mexican chip. Um, if you've ever had the, uh, it's like a blue bag. You know what I'm talking about? It has. It looks like. It tastes like exactly like this. It's a blue bag, and they have different flavors. They have. They have. Um, they have cheese and they have uh, spicy and stuff. And they have onion rings too. Uh, Fritos. No, no, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, if I find the snack, I will show it to you guys. Yeah. Um. Anyways, guys, this was the chips I was talking about. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Right. Five. Yeah, for right now, this is a five. It's pretty good. I didn't really like them, but I've been giving them five. Now your turn. 
All right, we got uh, yogurt biscuits from Taiwan again, because <laughs> this whole box is from Taiwan. Um, and they kind of look like animal crackers, it looks like. So let's get into it. Kind of, my arm's kind of tired from bowling earlier. So I kind of, I do, I do. <laughs> my arm's kind of tired from bowling. Got it? Is it a little tough? Yeah. We need to open it with our teeth, we can't. <laughs> we're just having a little we're having a little trouble. Let's see if I can. There we go. Okay, we got it. Huh. Has a sweet smell. It does. It smells good. You guys can see that, but it's a cat. Grab one. And, ooh, I got a very fitting animal for me, a lion. Because <laughs> I love lions. Um, they have a vanilla smell to them. They do. They do. All right, let's try Three, two, one. You don't get the sweet taste at first, but it tastes more animal crackery than normal. Yeah, I prefer more of the um, when we smell. I prefer more of that taste in. Yeah. Yeah. What do you? What would you rate it? Rate rate that. I say six. They're a little bit better than the potato fries. So wouldn't you mean there are four? Because or what? Well, what did you rate them before? What did you rate the fries? Five. So yeah, the the the, the animal. The yogurt biscuits would be uh, four. Oh yeah, four. Because number one would be the best, and number number whatever would be the worst. So let's get on to the next pack. Uh, I see popcorn. It's a spicy beef noodle. Hmm. Mm, I don't know. Sounds interesting. I hope it's not like the egg egg chips. It just smells like noodles. <laughs> that's, that's, that smells pretty good. It smells like like ramen noodles, like yeah. beef. But popcorn at the same time, which is Well, weird. of course it's beef, it is spicy beef. Let me grab one. Go ahead and grab one. This smells like a noodle, which is weird. Like the like the beef that you would get in um, the ramen from the store. I don't know about those. I don't know. Oh, I got the heat. Yeah, I got the heat too, but yeah, I don't know about those. Uh, I'd say those are number six right now, for right now. Yeah, those are number six, sir. It's good. It's just the flavor is a little weird. Yeah, the first tasting is it. And then you get the, the spice. Yes. All right. Next one. Oh Lord. <laughs> Another one. Taiwanese people. Your food. It's look, weird. Looks weird. Yes. Yes. Um. But I'm not complaining. It's food. So. So the next one is pepper crackers. Look like that. Um, little squares look like animal treats, like dog treats. <laughs> they do. So uh, let's open it. As I'm struggling, you guys are watching me struggle. The struggle of life. Doesn't smell like anything. Mm -hmm. Why am I getting a hint of cinnamon? To me, they don't smell like anything, but to her, they smell like cinnamon, which is the weirdest part. <laughs> let me let me smell them. It's 
Still don't smell it. <laughs> Wanna be a grab one? Wanna grab one? They uh they end up looking like this. They're they're very they look very dull like a like a biscuit. But like a dog biscuit. Yeah, that is very dull. No flavor at all. Put that in number seven. Yeah, no flavor whatsoever. Yep. All right, let's move on to the next one. So I am looking at a pineapple soft cake. Hmm. And it does say pineapple soft cake. But does it does it have Taiwanese writing on it? What? Not just a little symbol on the front, looks like. Well, there's also that, and then... Let's just say this one is in English. Uh, yeah, so most of the, That one's in English, but... That one's in English. The fries are in English. The biscuits are in English. And the pepper... And the popcorn's also in English. The pepper crackers are in Taiwanese. So everything but the pepper crackers are in are in English, which is weird. I wonder if Ta and let me know if anyone's from Taiwan. Let me know if you uh, if you guys uh, if over there in Taiwan you guys speak English over there mainly, or and use English on your packaging, or if um, you um, speak Taiwanese and you just put English on the packaging. Just let me know. And this is what the cake looks like. Oh, it's just one. Just one okay. Okay. Uh, and there's some filling in the middle. Lovely. It smells weird. It smells very weird. I probably shouldn't have eaten the whole thing. <laughs> No, it's not. I shouldn't have eat the whole thing. That was so bad. <laughs> Why did you eat the whole thing? I don't know. Mm. I'm gonna need, need to rinse down with some sun kissed. These are not sponsored, just so you know. That was really gross. Yes. Yes, it was. It, you got a hint of the pineapple, but then it was... Mm. The middle was not even pineapple. Like if you hear pineapple cake and then you see filling, you think pineapple. Yeah. But it was more, I think it was a nougat. Yeah. All right, let's move on to snack number, what is this? So this would be number six. Six, number six, but what would you rate the cake? So seven, and then the peppers are eight, or? No, the peppers are probably a seven, and then the cake is an eight. The cake is an eight, and the peppers are seven. Got it. All right. We are, I'm go, I want to be able to save uh, the, the sweet things for last. So what I want to be able to do is, you're going to hate me. But... This one's in full Taiwanese, so it just I just get to, guess it depends on the brand or the company. Um, what is it? It's pea crackers, and no, do not think that way because all I know most of you are thinking thinking outside the outside of your head. That is that is not what I was thinking. Um, pea crackers, lemon pink salt, artificial flavor. So it looks like this. And then here's the back. As you could tell, there's some Taiwanese writing. And it does have some nutrition packs. So let's move on. Let's open it and try it out. It's full of air, so I would not do it that way. Yeah, you open it. This part of my arm is really hurting from the bowling. By the way, she beat me. Don't smell good. <coughs> <laughs> I 
hope they smell like stinky feet. How would you know what stinky feet smell like? Because I have brothers. I'm kind of scared to try this, guys. You chose it. <laughs> there's always that, uh, the last two videos, there's always that one weird snack. I feel like this is the other one. So this is what they look like. Kind of look like the Frito-Lay's uh, barbecue, sweet barbecue, but without the sweet barbecue. All right, you want to try it? Cheers. Basically a dry noodle. That tastes like uh, lemon. Yeah. So what would you rate that? Way too strong of a lemon's taste. Yeah, I would say so. Let's see what else we got. Okay. All right, so we have uh, three last snacks. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell. If you guys love this video or like it, thank you very much to those who are subscribed. And um, let's move on to the next snack. So it looks like. Uh, there is a wheat soy cracker, a cracker, a Korean kimchi. Does it? Really doesn't matter. It's, it's in English. Huh. Okay. So I'm guessing it is some brand, some English. Yeah. Know. Some companies, some. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, trying, yeah, I'm just smelling it. It smells. It smells interesting. Um, I, I honestly could smell the bag all day. <laughs> uh, I'm getting barbecue for some reason. Are you? And this is how they look, like little blue Korean kimchi is what it's called. That's what I said. Oh. All right. That's not bad. Yeah, I say that's number three. That is not bad. All right, the last two guys. Three? Oh, we got three. Okay. Um. The other ones are hidden. <laughs> okay. So, looks like we got yogurt jelly. Mine's peach flavored. What is yours? Peach. peach. There's two peaches. Is it me or when you squeeze it, there's like a, something hard in there? It's jelly, babe. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's jelly, but there's also some kind of. Um, it's like liquid. Liquid in there, too. All right. Uh, yogurt peach jelly. Let's try it. You want to try part and I try part, or we, yeah. we try one each, or? Since it's yours, you open it, <laughs> if you can. Oh, this one's okay. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Looks like a... Oh, and it's spilling, okay. <laughs> you just went in the popcorn. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really... I don't know what to think of that. It's like, I don't like that. Is there any more? So it 
does have some peach juice in it, which makes it good. And then the jelly doesn't have of a taste, but if you have the juice and jelly together, it looks really good. It's like eating a uh, jellyfish, which is weird. I don't know if you guys know what jellyfish look like. It, it's like describing that. It doesn't taste like a jellyfish, of course. I'm asking, how do you know what a jellyfish tastes like? I, I wouldn't. Just the looks and tastes like it. Like, like imagine a, a tasting a jellyfish is what I'm saying. Alright. Really interested in these. They are a Whopper Bowl Cookie Cherry Blossom Artificial Flavor. They are. Let me see. They are correct then bell. Sorry, that was my that was my for French. I'm sorry for those who are French. Um that was my French So all the things are in English and here is the front which this is what they look like I'm assuming. If there are sticks let's just grab one out of them. Like if they have like that? Yeah. Here's what they look like. They uh, looks like a cookie. I just said it was a cookie. Oh yeah, it is a cookie. That's not bad. One thing she did forget to mention, it is a wafer. This is wafer world cookie. Did you say wafer world cookie? See, I'm bad at hearing, guys. I'm just getting old. Um, even though she's older than me, which is funny. Uh, that, I'd say, mm, I don't know. I say, Put that at three and the yogurt at two. You do not like the cookies? No. I do not. All right. The last creme moulée of uh, all the snacks. Um, you're not allergic to peanuts, are you? No. I should have known that. Um, so for those who do get these boxes, they do have an allergy warning. Um, because this does have peanut, peanuts, peanuts in there, um, and it's chocolate <laughs> with mochi in it. She's feeding the dog. Dogs. <laughs> Dogs. Um, so, yeah, that, that's what it looks like, and uh, let's and it does have English on the back. And uh, let's get to the package. My arm's really messed up. I need to rest it for a couple days. You were really throwing the ball. Well, yeah, uh, and you were softly throwing it. All right. And so you, this is what the packaging looks like, just like normal chocolates. Um, do you want to split one? What do you want to do? Uh, I would say split one. Oh. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it smells 
smell like a Reese's. <laughs> she can be a bit of a smart butt sometimes. It tells him what is in there. <laughs> there she is can... a creamy uh, peanut, but, uh, peanut filling, a mochi on the outside, and then chocolate coating. She could be a bit of a smart butt sometimes, which I love about her. You looked at these and you asked if I have a peanut allergy. What do you think was in it? <laughs> <laughs> she throws, she, I think she's upset. Um, all right. He doesn't pay attention to what he says. Uh, this is what they look like. All right. Huh. So the bunch was right. I don't think I like that. Uh -huh. No, I don't like that. Not one bit. Sorry to spit on camera, guys. That was not good. No. The only thing that's good about it was the chocolate and peanut butter. The mochi did not put that together. Yeah. I think that's. Uh, you guys have some, Taiwan, you guys have some uh, pretty good food, except for those weird snacks. I would put that in a number eight and move the tier list down. So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that is pretty much it for Universal Yums. I hope you guys enjoyed your video. Have a good day and a blessed day. I will see you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.